developing boat left its home port of New Bedford on Sunday and never made it back. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. For more than 24 hours, the Coast Guard searched by air and by sea, hoping to find the other three men alive. The Leonardo left New Bedford, but it didn't get very far. It capsized and sank about 24 nautical miles off Martha's Vineyard. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in New Bedford tonight with the latest. Bill? Lisa, the Coast Guard is still out there searching because this evening the water, the water south of Martha's Vineyard are actually much calmer, obviously, than they would have been yesterday in that storm. Nonetheless, that being said, and the Coast Guard still searching with each hour that goes by, it's not looking good. He's a huge family man, a huge family man, like such a good guy. I would take the shirt off his back for anybody. He loved his mother. You can only imagine the depth of her sadness. Mark Cormier was Alicia's big brother, her protector and confidant. But now he and two other fishermen are lost at sea. He, he loved the water. I mean, the water we grew up on because my father's a career fisherman. So we've, my whole family is career fishermen, so we've grown up on these dogs. 50 foot scalloper Leonardo was based here in New Bedford. The four man crew was working in heavy seas yesterday south of Martha's Vineyard when the boat capsized. The Coast Guard managed to save one crew member, lifting him onto a helicopter. But the others are unaccounted for. And it hits hard here on the docks. As a fisherman myself, you, it could happen to us, you know, it could be us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so you, even though you don't know the guys, it, it impacts you. And, you know, and it, it's just you don't want to hear something like that. Alicia knows it's not looking good, but refuses to believe her brother is gone. Maybe we're going to get a call in an hour saying that we found him and we're bringing him home. I'm just, I'm not ready to give up. I'm not ready to give up. It is very sad, and like I said, with each passing hour, it's not looking good. But the Coast Guard is still out there. They plan to stay out there. The weather's supposed to hold another 24 hours with calm seas, so looks like they'll be there for a while. Reporting live from New Bedford, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Back to you guys. All right, Bill, thank you. A recent study by 24-7 Wall Street found that fishermen is the most dangerous job in the United States. In 2017, 41 fishing industry workers were killed on the job, and the majority of those who died drowned. The study also found that fishermen deal with many workplace hazards, slippery work surfaces on decks of boats, environmental factors, including weather, and that when they do get hurt, they are often often a long way from medical care. David?